Well, hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to show you something that uh, is pretty important if you have a real link or similar type of digital video recorder for your security system. Now, inside the home, you'll have no problem with accessing it, assuming that you you know, hook up one of your PCs to be able to get into the special application that they have for based for Windows or something similar. But if you try to leave the house and get outside of your network, you may run into a problem unless you've done a few things to make sure it works correctly. So for example, right now I have the app that Reolink provides installed here on my iPhone or any smartphone that's capable of doing this. They have apps for both. But this would not work if I were without the changes I'm going to talk about in this video and I tr left my wireless environment, which this is currently connected up to my wireless environment, so it'll work as long as I'm within reach of this. Probably from here to two or three houses down in each direction, it would work fine. But how do you get it to work? Let's say, you know, I'm off at a friend's house, and even if I connect to his wireless network, it now has to go through the WAN, the wide area network, in order to get to his real link server. That's not very good, is it? So let me show you what you have to do, and it's there's changes that you have to make sure that you have, and you may probably have to make them for the first time to both your router and also to the real link configuration. And I'll show you each of those, and then we'll come right back and close it out. Now, a key consideration when you want your real link NVR to be reachable remotely through your iPhone, for example, is to set up your router to allow that to happen. Not all routers may be configured to block this, but I believe most of the modern ones today will have some means of doing it. What you see in the screen here is for my router, something that's under the WAN category, as you see highlighted on the left, and that is the port forwarding. So the first thing I had to do on mine was enable port forwarding, the basic config option there at the top. So I've turned that on, and then I've had to add a total of six entries to the port forwarding specifically for the real link NVR. Now, I can do have more, but these are the six that I wanted to show for this video. As you can see, we have a total of six ports, TCP ports, 80, 9000, 443, 554, 1935, and 8000. All of those have to be forwarded directly to your NVR. And what you see there is the internal IP address address, that's the internal IP address, well at least what I haven't blocked out, of my NVR, so you can see it'll only go there. So if something comes in from the outside that's meant for something on my local network, it will only go to that device. And in this case, the forwarding of those six ports to enable the remote application from the iPhone to work. Now in the NVR itself, what you first do is go into settings, then go into system, then go into info, and you make sure that this is enabled. Allow real link app slash client to access the device via WAN using UID. The UID is right there below it. That's how you had to set up your client in the first place. Either scanning that QR code or typing in the information considered the UID. At that point, you're done. You can exit all of this and you're back the way you started. What you need to do in order to get this to work with your smartphone is to install the Reolink app. Now here for my iPhone, I will type in Reolink. Do a search. And here it is right here, the one at the bottom. Now I've already got it installed on my phone, so I can do an update, which I probably will. But you can download it, and then once you run it, one of the first things it'll do as you set it up is ask you to scan the QR code that is your UID. You will find that on the outside of your Reolink NVR. Or if you go into the menus and look up info on the Reolink NVR itself, you will see a copy of it. And then once you've installed it, then it should come and connect pretty quickly directly to your NVR as long as you have the other configurations that we just talked about. So there we go. If you make those changes to your router and also to your NVR, and of course, make sure you install the app appropriately on your phone, on your smartphone, then you should have no problem getting to it from anywhere, basically in the world, I would think, depending on the connectivity that you have to the wide area network, the internet as a whole, that is. So until the next time, thanks for watching. Take care. 